Hi, I'm Dale Roby, the producer of these three separate films on this video cassette. I filmed these films during the 1960s. They are considered classics. The first film, Cougar Action, shows what the too many mountain lion in one area can do to the elk and deer on their winter range. Cougar Action was filmed before there were a limit with control hunt permits placed on the mountain lion hunting in Idaho. The use of hunting dogs is the only effective proven way to harvest excess cougar. There is a long established myth about the mountain lion only kills the sick and weak animals. They will not as a rule kill or eat a diseased animal. They usually kill the young and healthy animals. Many old time mountain lion trappers Mountain lion hunters and mountain men have well discovered this fact. The film Wild But True is an unusual whitewater river film with a high true adventure of the near drowning of Dick and Del Roby captured on film. The film The Sure Footed is a mountain goat hunting an educational film, filmed in 1961. At that time, the mountain goat was classed as a trophy animal, and the hunter was not required to pack the, the meat out. Shortly after I made this film, they were classed as a game animal, and the meat had to be packed out and utilized. My first video cassette produced on my uh, series is video number one at our Wilderness Elk. This is a 60-minute film, an outstanding educational adventure of material. A lot of uh, facts and interesting things is in this video. This was also selected by the Library of Congress for their permanent archival collection. Now, I do believe that you will find much entertainment and educational content in these three films. Thank you. You are heading into the vast Bitterroot Wilderness. It is the last week in February, and this is your first mountain lion hunting trip. This airplane is specially equipped with a ski and wheel combination. With the greatest skill, an experienced mountain pilot brings you down on a remote landing strip. This is where you will meet an experienced mountain lion hunter. For the next 15 days, he will be your guide and hunting companion. They're easy prey for the cougar. Among the elk, cows, and calves are the main victims of the cougar. In a dark thicket, you find the remains of a calf elk, a grim reminder that a mountain lion has been here only four or five days before. Fresh bobcat tracks are around the kill. After a short chase, the bobcat was treed. <coughs> Suddenly, you come upon a blood trail. A young cow elk has been killed and dragged by a mountain lion. It looks like a big cat has been here within a short time. As a safety measure, you get out of your snowshoes. Arrangements have been made with the mountain air taxi to fly you another 40 miles into new cougar country. 
you've flown here to meet Van, another lion hunter. He has an eight-year-old experienced hound. This will give you more dog power. You find a dead coyote by the elk. The top of the head has been bitten off, obviously the work of a mountain lion. This means only one thing, a lion has returned to its kill, found the coyote sneaking an easy meal and made short work of him. You turn the dogs loose and the chase is on. Ken uses a special neck lanyard or sling to steady his 44 special. By searching in a circle, you soon find the den. It's about a quarter of a mile away. It was hidden in a draw of thick timber. This was an unusual place for a den. Beneath a mass of crossed up windfalls and snow laden brush were runways and openings. Here, under four or five feet of snow, was a comfortable den for the lion and her litter. These little cats have really sharp claws and can leave a very painful scratch. Once in a sack inside the pack board, the little cat calms down in the dark, cozy place. A kitten this size is from three to four weeks old. Young cougar may be born any time of year, about 94 days after breeding. A female lion will only breed every two or three years. You have to be ready to move in fast. The action that followed was fast and close. Two split-second shots hit the cougar, four missed. The last shot, between the eyes, ended the action. You have the big trophy that you wanted, but at what a price. You pack the big tom out to the ridge top, where you can hang him from a tree. This lion will weigh at least 200 pounds. It is all you can do to stand up with him and walk. This mountain lion was over eight feet long before skinning. The hide stretched to nine feet. They have been known to stalk humans, but will attack only under conditions of extreme hunger or when crippled or cornered. The scream of a mountain lion at night will make your hair stand on end. Although cougars are predators, they should not be exterminated. Controlled hunting should be enforced where necessary. Your first mountain lion hunt has brought adventure beyond your expectations. You are ready to leave this land of cougar action. Ladies and gentlemen, the film Wild the True is a true life and death story of my big river boat, the Salmon River King. Performance of the King was good on the whole, and this first trip was very successful. Boat and fishing were fine, and the crew had energy to burn. The Salmon River King was completely outfitted with pontoons and motor hoists. One of the most interesting and unusual river runs of the big boat's life took place in late February. This was through the lower gorge of the River of No Return. Unusually cold weather had caused the river to drop far below normal. Due to the extreme cold, the river level was dropping all the time. It was the lowest the pilot had ever seen. The Salmon River King had to dodge through the rocky channels. Rocks that were usually underwater at this time of the year were showing, narrowing the channel for the big boat. Lots of hot black coffee was the order of the day. 
the big gas range in the boat was kept busy. The fighting steelhead were really hitting by afternoon. The next morning, as was expected, the Salmon River King was frozen in again. On trips through the main Hell's Canyon Gorge, the Salmon River King performed beautifully. Few powerboats have ever attempted to run the rugged gorge more than once. Let's see again just what happened. The pilot was at the controls and Dick was inside the boat. Suddenly, the bulky motor cut completely out. It didn't take a second look. The white shoreline showed plainly how high the raging waters got. On all its wild runs, the big boat had proven its worth. Yes, wild but true was the life of the Salmon River King. You are headed into Idaho's great primitive area. It is early September and spirits are high. Your objective is a trophy billy goat from one of the best mountain goat ranges in this vast region. A clean and comfortable camp is your pride as a good outdoor sportsman. A sudden overnight storm brought rain, hail, and wet snow, making your first day's hunt slippery and foggy. Mule deer are very common on the mountain goat ranges. However, they don't go out onto the crags. The sun rises on seemingly a different world for your second day of hunting. The crisp morning air is refreshing. You know this is a perfect day for a good hunt. It is necessary to get above the mountain goats and hunt down on them. This permits you to get closer without being seen. Looking for fresh sign is very important. The pellet of the mountain goat can be mistaken for that of deer and bighorn sheep. Somewhere in those rocks and crags, your trophy is waiting. On the face of a steep bluff far below, you spot two more. Now, very quietly, slip down closer to the goats. At last, you see a lone billy, 
approximately 500 yards away on the next ridge feeding. You know he is out of good rifle range. You must get closer. You feel your third shot had found its mark. You find the Big Billy had gone only a few feet after being hit in the heart with a 150 grain 30-06 bullet. The glands at the base of the horns of the mountain goat are scent glands. These glands are active in the rutting or mating period, which is usually at its peak in the month of November. The steep slopes and rocky rims require good balance and careful climbing. Another great adventure draws to an end as you leave the home of the sure-footed.